Hey there, welcome to the Raglan Surf Report. Not actually in Raglan today. I'm actually at the beautiful and majestic and tranquil and beautiful Ahipara Shipwreck Bay, as you can see behind me there. And before I drive out there and just totally ruin my Nissan Wing Road 2006, I unfortunately need to drive back into Kai Tai and pick up a fresh block of wax because there's, there's, I don't have any left and I need it for traction on my surfboard. So I thought this was a, an opportune time to show you guys how to correctly do surf shopping. Let's go check that out. Does anyone see my keys? They're not in the ignition. When first entering a surf shop, you'll probably be greeted by a friendly shopkeeper. Hey, how's it going? Ignore this person for now. They'll be at your every beck and call if you need them later. It's an unwritten rule that when entering a surf shop, you must touch every single surfboard within that shop. Even if you don't know what you're supposed to be looking for in a surfboard, just pretend you do anyway. Are these rails, um, regulation? What? Pull on the arms of the wetsuits to see if they're made out of the latest neoprene, preen, preen? Is it an M or an N? Ah, whatever. Wetsuit material. Is this just normal stretch or is this super stretch? Or is Super, super stretch, it's real stretchy. Sweet if you've got real long arms, I guess. Are these the new McFanning fins? Tell the shopkeeper a really interesting story about the one time that you met McFanning. I, um, I actually know Matt. Well, I, um, I met him once. Well, I saw him once. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it was him. He was, he was quite far away, but he had that unmistakable blonde hair. I mean, if he was at TRI Beach at Las Anzac Day, it was definitely him. It def it was, yeah, it was him. And finally, yeah, purchase the most inexpensive there. thing in the entire store. Yeah, uh, five bucks. Five bucks? Yeah. But make sure you never pay full retail. Is that like with or without the local discount? Aren't you from Raglan? 